right thanks to have you again doc and my question to you is what what can you tell the ordinary zimbabwean on the street in the in the wake of of covid 19 we have got the epidemic here what can you tell the ordinary zimbabwean as a medical doctor the first thing i would say is let's look out for one another let's be concerned about each other's health let's give each other good advice let's stop posting false news about COVID-19 on the social media. Uh, that's number one. Number two, let's... Doing somebody else a lot of good could actually mean not visiting them. Let's minimize visits of any sort. Visits to the hospitals, visits to prisons, visits to people's homes. Let's minimize, let's stay home. That is how we'll interrupt the transmission of uh, COVID-19. Because if you visit me and my immune system is a little compromised, uh, you may think you've done me good by visiting me, but you've actually killed me. Uh, because in a few days' time, I'll be sick. So social distancing is extremely important. Number three, let's cooperate with government in whatever measures they tell us to. Uh, to. We, are looking, we are looking to government now to give us guidance on the issue of gatherings. Uh, we expect government to tighten on the issue of gatherings to tighten on the issue of uh, the lockdown that we've always been uh, asking for, a complete lockdown of the city. That's the, all cities, that's the way to, to, to stop transmission of HIV. So as individuals, whatever guidelines we get from government, let's take them seriously and let's, let's follow through on them. And let's keep healthy, uh, self-isolate. If you're like me, over 60, stay at home, don't gallivant. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Then another one. Okay. Then another question, Doctor. There are people who are spending a lot of money, time, resources, energy towards the prevention of COVID nineteen for themselves and their families. And you know it it's it's getting to their nails. It's freaking them out to notice other people just they, they are not maintaining their social distance and it's becoming even a risk to them and and I, I feel there's something there to do with mental health how, how can you help what do you what do you advise these people there are people who are freaking out that other people are not maintaining their social distance they are doing everything that they can they are spraying their doorknobs they are doing everything but some people are just being reckless about it and it's posing a serious risk to them what, what, what can you advise people in terms of their mental health in the wake of, of, of COVID-19? Yeah, that's a very important question. Um, this is what goes on to show that some, there are certain things in life that don't depend on you alone. Um, my wellness now in the, in the wake of COVID-19 depends on your wellness. I must, I must wish you good health so that I get good health. If you are sick, I may get sick. And COVID-19 is a great equalizer. Uh, we have rich and poor have become equal uh, in this uh, uh, pandemic. Uh, and there is not much advice we can give to people except let's watch our backs. Let's, let's not look at who is rich, who is poor. Let's watch each other's back. Uh, let's, let's look after each other. Let's stay at home. Let's not infect other. A rich person can get infected. A poor person can get infected consequences can be the same so let's really look after each other uh, let's not um, you know what I would like to say finally is everything is in the hands of God we must do what we can hygiene social distancing everything but finally it's God who determines what happens to us um, we are not we are not uh, running away from our responsibility to be responsible citizens. But we are saying, let's do what we can as humans, and finally, uh, God will, will take care of the rest. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that for your good mental health. If you don't leave things in the hands of God, you are going to go crazy. Yeah, you, you, you really need uh, God to keep you normal, sane, you know. So that's my advice to, to those people who think others are not doing enough. And others are also saying maybe you should limit social media. The, the text, 
you think social media makes people go hysterical they, 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 they go out of their minds if there's too much of frightening information on covid and people are just living what do you think i'm not worried about information that is true on social media i think it helps us i've seen very vivid graphic videos from italy china and so forth showing us the path they've walked and the extent to which this bug can be destructive that is good information but uh, <clears throat> there's also a lot of fake news you know false news false advice false cures being peddled in social media so my advice is let the authorities uh, peddle more news than the fake news producers let our government uh, go all out to educate the population you know we should be having daily hourly you know messages uh, from official sources but now we are getting more messages from an official sources than from the official source let the official source wake up and start uh, i would like to use the word uh, very loosely propaganda you know i like that word um, it's, it's like brainwashing. Brainwash the people with the truth. That's what I want us to do. Let the government brainwash the people with the truth about COVID-19 and not wait for, for us to, you know, educate the population. That's okay. There's another one.